Hey Capricorn, what's up? Welcome to your reading. Let's get started and see what you guys have in store. All right, let's see what your overall energy is. Change. Okay. Energy for love and romance. Courage. Career and finance. Peace. Friends or social circles. Pride and family. Success. At the bottom, we have acceptance. Okay, let's take a look. The cards came out. I don't want the cards. There we go. Okay, well, that's interesting. For the overall energy of change, we have the tower in reverse. So clearly there was a major change. Not a very pleasant one because it was a tower. Um, but it was a major change. So I can read this two ways. Either the tower already happened, change has already happened, and this is what you're coming into the reading with. Or this is what's about to happen. There's going to be a major change. Hasn't happened yet. So, you know. It be different for each of you. With regards to love, this courage card, let's see. Eight of swords in reverse. All right. Peace. Regarding finances and career. We have the Two of Cups. Nice. Pride with regards to your friends or social circles. Four of Wands reverse. And success with regards to your family. The Eight of Cups. At the bottom, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so that that's, yeah, that's, that's a big change. That's a major change. All right, let's clarify Capricorn. What is this tower? What is this tower reverse? The Knight of Wands. Whatever it is, you don't see coming, and it comes quickly. So, like I said, this may have already happened, or it's about to. But it's a swift change that comes out of nowhere. So, I feel like you don't have even time to try to avoid it. Nor should you. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Yeah. Um, hmm. Two of Wands. Also, card of change. I... With the Seven of Pentacles. Did I say Seven of Wands? It's Seven of Pentacles. With the Seven of Pentacles being in reverse, I, I feel like... Something, like I'm hearing like it's about time. The change was about time. Like, yeah. It was overdue. Queen of Wands. And Eight of Cups again. Okay. Oh, at the bottom we have Strength. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if this has something to do with a romantic relationship because 
I feel like, you know, strength is correlating for me with the courage card, of, uh, obviously. Um, so I do feel like facing this change, this tower moment, even though it's overdue, well, it's overdue, okay? Um, but it, it takes courage. It takes courage, strength um, to face this and to walk away. And I feel like that's what you're doing or that's what you will be doing. And you're going to know that it's time. It's not time to continue investing, continue uh, nurturing, cultivating. No, it's time to turn your back and walk away. And I feel like you're, you're, you're prepping for this or you are ready for it. Whether you know it or not, whether you feel it or not, you're ready for it. You have what it takes. Okay. Whatever that is. Let's see. Love. Courage. With the Eight of Swords in reverse. Which, again, interesting. Because it takes courage to get yourself out of the Eight of Swords situation. So Eight of Swords upright. The situation in which you feel like you're powerless. You're not really powerless. But you feel like you are. Because there's so many things running through your mind. That you might change your mind at any given moment. Um... You just see your head is all over the place. Your emotions are all over the place. You just don't know what to do. And so you're you're sort of in this paralysis, so to speak, where you don't do anything. And pretty soon, like, oh, a decade has gone by. <laughs> uh, we have the Seven of Pentacles here. Maybe seven years have gone by. And you haven't done anything. But... Eight of Swords is coming up in the reverse. So here we're taking some action. You're no longer in that paralysis state. You have the courage to take action when it comes to your love life. So let's see what that action is. Ten of Pentacles reverse, which is what we have at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles reverse, the sun, because something has been illuminated there's something about, um, okay, so for some of you, this might be happening perhaps around July or August. It may not be taking place right about now, but it's right around the corner. Or something happened last July or August that really opened your eyes and has been prepping you for what's going on now. Yeah. Yeah, you've been stuck. You've been stuck in a long... Chariot reverse. You have been stuck in a long-term situation in which you have not been happy. And I feel like now you are snapping out of it. Look. And that's why these new opportunities are now presenting themselves. You're having a new beginning. You're being given a new beginning. Because you have found the strength and courage to face it. Hierophant. Temperance. Hmm. This is about having the courage to rebuild a, a new life. And that's that's scary. It is. It's really scary. That's what's held you back is, you know, to... It felt overwhelming. It felt like climbing Mount Everest. But you're doing it. And it's in divine timing. It, it's about time, but it's in divine timing. You're healing. You're doing great. You may not think you are, but you are. All right, let's take a look at your career. We have Peace and the Two of Cups. The 
the sun. Beautiful. Ten of Wands. Two of Cups again. Whoa. King of Pentacles. Three of Swords reverse. Six of Pentacles reverse. I feel like right now your career um, is kind of a distraction for you because it's where you find your peace. <laughs> it's it's kind of your escape because there, there you have a lot of burdens right now. You have a lot of stress. Um, you may have a lot of work, you know, busy work to do, but you're really good at it. People really respect you, look up to you. This is this is your car. This is Capricorn energy. But you're really admired. You, you're getting your the spotlight is on you, and I feel like you use this as an outlet to distract yourself, to to even to heal from things that are affecting you emotionally. Uh, you know, other areas of your life that are affecting you emotionally, and this is your peaceful place. This is your happy place. You know, right now is is work. It's where you feel in control. You feel in control amongst, you know, all of the, the busyness, the chaos that you know exactly what to do. There's procedures. There's, you know, structure. Um, people look to you for answers. All is well. Job secure. There's a lot of work, so there's job security. This is where you feel safe and at home. And so this is your outlet for peace right now. You know, whatever works. Because with the tower being in your overall energy, yeah, you take what you can get. So wherever you can find peace, by all means. Let's take a look here. Friends and social circle, we have pride with the four of wands reverse. Some of you may be letting go of some long-term friendships, you know, uh, unfortunately. And it could be because ego got in the way. Now yeah, we have, you know, someone's not seeing clearly. They're letting their ego get in the way. It says, I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Judgment reverse. Someone is not seeing clearly. Seven of swords reverse. Five of Wands reverse and the Queen of Cups. Two of Cups. Yeah. So this is an act of self love. Um, you're getting away from people that have caused you some conflict or have been in competition with you maybe in the past you didn't see it but at some point you will uh, some of you have already seen it but yeah you're cutting some people off unfortunately some friendships are going to be cut off somebody was somebody is in competition with you and you didn't see it that way like I said at some point you didn't see it that way but it's going to be it's going to be made clear to you Someone's ego got in the way, I'm telling you. they—they. They, I don't know if, like, you had some kind of major glow-up or something, and someone just couldn't handle it. So, yeah. It can also be, I'm also getting here the Four of Wands. So, for some of you, you could be going through a breakup, and you kind of want to hide. 
I, I feel like you don't want to be confronted with this. You don't want, like your pride, your ego is hurt. And so you are very emotional at this time and you don't want people seeing you like that. So I'm getting a couple of messages here, whichever one fits you. But I'm, I'm picking up on that as well. So for some of you, it's, it's that. You just want to step away from your friendships right now because you're going to, through too many things. And um, you just don't have the strength to, to face them. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to have to explain. You just don't have it in you to do it. And that's that's okay. You know, you're going through a lot of shit. Let's take a look at family. You have success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. And we have that with the Eight of Cups. So turning your back, walking away from something, from, you know, something related to your family. I feel like this is related to this because we saw that this was long term. This looks like a marriage to me. Okay, walking away, um, ending a marriage, having the courage to end a marriage. And then here we have Eight of Cups. So, <clears throat> yeah, King of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Other, others of you, you're adopting this energy of the King of Swords and, and you're just not coming from an emotional space. You don't want to come from an emotional space. You want to be very, uh, almost cutthroat. High Priestess. Um, yeah, you're not, you don't want anybody to know what your next move is going to be. You're being very, very strategic. You're you're playing chess. You're not playing checkers. You're playing chess. Um, so people better watch out <laughs> because Capricorn playing chess with you. Good luck. Also, whoever it is you're walking away from, you don't want them knowing your whereabouts for some reason. Yeah, you're having a new beginning. You're this is you're deciding this. Look, six of swords. You're moving on. And you're not ready to announce it to the world. So hence the reason why you're staying away from your friends. So for some of you, it's not that you're letting go of friendships, it's that you're letting go of a relationship and you're not ready to face your friends. You're not ready to announce it. Look justice in reverse. Six of Cups reverse. Wow. Whatever you're walking away from, like you're doing the right thing because you didn't deserve how you were treated. You were treated very unfairly. Yeah. Someone made you cry a lot. Someone made you suffer. Um, you could have children with this person. But it's like they, yeah, they did not treat you with respect. They didn't make you a priority. You were lied to quite a bit. Oh my gosh, yeah. Wow, okay. Give me one more for this. And now we have the Queen of Swords reverse. So we have the King of Swords upright and the Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, this is, uh, oh my gosh. And then we have the Seven of Wands. This is like a court battle. I'm seeing a court battle here. So you know what is ahead, you know, but you also know that it's worth you walking away because you're going to have success no matter what. And you staying in this situation is only prolonging the misery. You leaving the situation is you having the opportunity to find love again. Or at some point, because I don't, I don't know, you know, judging by the cards here, 
I'm not saying there never was love, but I, I do feel like you were not treated properly. So this is your chance to find what you deserve because you were not, eh, you were not getting what you deserved. So yeah, you're doing the right thing. It's not easy. Obviously it's not easy, but you'll be better for it. A few months from now, a year from now, you'll see. Let's see your oracle message, Capricorn. At the bottom, look, success and happiness are coming. Yeah, they are. Enjoy and celebrate life. You just have to get past this hurdle. Okay, we have the lotus within you awakes. You are a master in light on high. Mm -hmm. And we have release your creative energies, make use of them in your life. This is very earthy energy, very much your, your element. So you are in your element, even though you feel very uncomfortable, very, you know, scared, worried, all of those emotions. But this is your element. So you will be just fine. You're going to, you're going to surprise yourself how well you do. So don't worry. Just focus, focus on what's ahead. All right, Capricorn. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.